Hey, welcome back. I'm going to show you how to do this really cool feature. As I scroll down the page, can you see this image is appearing and the background is changing colour? And as I scroll back down again, it goes back to black and the image slides back in again. Now, this is really, really simple and really easy to do without any additional plugin, any CSS coding, no JavaScript, no HTML, no nothing. Well, just what comes already within Elementals. There will be some coding, but hey, you don't need to touch that. So let's have a look at how we're gonna do this. By the way, I'm Imran Sadiq, Web Squadron. I hope you like, share, and follow us, and I hope you subscribe as well, so that you can learn more about Elemental and WordPress to help you, your clients, and your business. Let's get started with how we created this. Quite simply, we start with one section and two columns. Okay, here we go, two columns. Yep, pretty simple stuff there, okay. Now in column one, you don't have to imitate what I'm doing, by the way, but I'm gonna use a flip box, but we will not be using the flip side of it, okay? I'm just using the box, it's an easy way for me to demonstrate how this works. I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna add in the flip box. Okay, it's a standard flip box. I'm gonna get rid of the icon, like so. I'm going to leave it as a default. I'm gonna leave the wording as it is, okay? I'm not here to mess around with the wording, I just wanna show you how this works. The background colour for this, I'm going to make this a solid, light, dark black colour. Because my section is a black colour as well at the moment, so I just want it all to blend in nicely. You can have a white background, you, you do whatever colour you want, but I'm just showing you what I did as an example. For the back side of this, um, again, I'm going to get rid of the click here button because the back of the flip box is exactly the same as the front. There is no flip going on here. I'm just using it, but there is no flipping. There is no flipping flip. Okay, the background for this, I am also going to leave this as just this black as well. I'm gonna go down to settings, and I'm gonna say the flip direction, sorry, the flip effect. Oh, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? There you go, fade. Now, one other thing I do recommend you do is on your front and your back, um, set it to be bottom, right, right at the bottom, and then add in some padding from the bottom for where you wanna place it. If you don't do that, sometimes the flip box starts to add in a little bit of like, it will jump a little bit when you move front to back, even though they look exactly the same. It, it kind of bothers me a little bit why it does that. So just set it to the bottom and put in 50. I put 50 as the bottom. And if I go to my back button, I've also got 50 from the bottom. So vertical position, bottom, but then 50 padding from the bottom. So when I now update and I view this, what you should see is, there we go, we have it. And if I move my mouse over it, it's not flipping. Or it doesn't appear to be flipping, right? It's not doing anything, it's just a standard box. The reason why I like the flip box is because you're getting the box, you're getting the text, it's all in one component. And if you don't wanna use a black color, remember this, okay? I could have gone to content, I could have gone to background, and I could have made it a gradient, which is what we're gonna do later, but for now we'll leave it as just a solid black color, okay? I hope that is making sense so far. Um, dead, dead simple. You can even add an image as well. So you can be a bit creative with how your box looks, but I'm just going for a black. Right. Once we've done that, we're now going to add in a image onto the second column over here. Right. And I'm just going to pick an image. One of my wonderful images from my stock. Uh, we'll go with this image here. Let's just insert this one. It's a square image of about 600 and 600 pixels. Obviously optimize and compress your images. Okay. I'm going to set it to be full, like this, and I'm going to set the style of this to be 297 and 297. The key thing is, though, that even though we've set the image now, it's the column that is actually going to be moving. So I'm going to click on the column, not the image, the column. I'm going to go to layout, and I'm going to set this to just be a start, so it starts. Okay, I'm not going to change anything else in here. Um, I'm now going to go to advanced for the image, and I'm now gonna to go to motion effect. And I'm gonna say that the motion effect for this is gonna be a scroll effect, not motion animation, but a scroll effect. And the scroll is gonna be a horizontal scroll, and it's gonna to move to the right. And I'm gonna say it's gonna be a speed of about, well, I think it was 9.5 I found worked well for me. You can experiment with this, okay? Now, if I just update this, and I view this, okay, you're gonna see the image is actually over the flip box. We will correct that. So look, you can see it here. It's actually at the moment over the flip box. 
And as you scroll, it's going to go all the way to the right. And this is where you might want to go, well, do I really want it going all the way that way? Maybe I want it to kind of stop about there. So I would say adjust your um, your viewpoint. So I'm just going to put this down to about 69, 70, something like that. We'll go with 70. And if I now update and view that, you'll still see the same effect. OK, so it's moving, but it's now not going as far across, it kind of stops at a point. So if you want it to keep going, increase your percentage. If you want it to stop, if I had decreased, it would have stopped about there. So have a think about your placement, right? Now at the moment, that is going in front of the flip box. Dead easy to sort out. I'm gonna give the image or the column a Z class of one. And I'm gonna go over to my flip box and I'm gonna give that a Z class of two. So what will now happen, and we can even do it here as we're watching it, look, it's now behind and we can now see the image is too big. Okay, I can now basically see that. So let me just quickly adjust my image. Let's go to the style and let's just uh, shrink this down to be about, I think that will do it, 276. There we go. Maybe it was 276 and it was never 297. You know, I've rearranged the numbers and upside down a little bit. So that now gives us that back and forth, but what we're not getting is the color change, right? This again is dead, dead simple. Remember the number 276. I am now gonna duplicate this flip box. You just duplicate it. And I now get a duplicate flip box. I could, if I want, change the content of that writing, okay? So I will do, I'm gonna change this to say, wow, wow, like that, ow like that, something like that. And we'll just change the text down here, say, hello, web squadron. And of course, you know, your typography, your sizing, use REM, you know, that's what I recommend. Go and do what you want with it. So that is going to be the front. In fact, I need to copy that and make sure I stick that on the back as well. Because even though we're using the flip box, I'm not flipping anything. Remember that we are not flipping. We are not flipping. Sounds really bad, doesn't it? So it's going to be the same whether you put your mouse over or below it. Now the background for this, if I go to the front, the background is now going to be a gradient and I'm going to go with a uh, that pinky, whatever, peachy colour at the top and a black colour for the bottom. Was it that peachy colour? Yes, it was that colour, yeah. Um, and then for the um, back of the flip box, for the background, just replicate it. We'll put that color in there and for the back we will just go with the black color like that so we get the same color whether you hover over it or not that's the key thing okay i mean i mean i would say that having a different text is probably not a good idea in fact because all we're doing is a color change and what you don't want is for the wording to change but let's just see what it's like i've got an example where we didn't change the wording now we've got one where the wording does change right now at the moment this flip box is in completely the wrong position. So we are very simply going to go to advanced. I'm now going to put a negative 276. 276, the reason I know that is because that's what the image height is. The image uh, it has been set to a 276. It's really weird though. Okay, the, um, and please understand what I'm saying here because that is a square image and I have set the width to be 276 and it is a perfect square the width is equal to the height. If you've got a rectangular image or whatever, you need to play around with how far, you know, you're gonna make a negative margin. But what I now have is a negative margin. It's now at the top. This flip box, okay, let's just make sure we're on the right one. Here it is, this flip box, the new one. We are gonna give this a Z index of three. So this is now, the image is number one, the black flip box is two. This uh, red gradient one is number three because it's going to be the ultimate one right at the top. I'm now going to go to the flip box and I'm going to go to motion effect and I'm going to add in a scroll effect. And the scroll effect I'm going to add quite simply is transparency. And that's it. And I'm now going to pick a uh, fade in and out. So it's going to fade in and then fade out. And I don't think I no, I won't touch the viewpoint. And I'm going to leave it as a level 10. So I've got a flip box and not much to it. Just make sure it's not actually flipping anything. The image, the column for the image, let me just show you again. The column for the image has a motion effect of horizontal. There we go. You can see it. In fact, it's over there where my finger should be pointing. Okay. 
And then the second flip box where we've now added in a color gradient and a negative margin so it overlaps, that has a motion effect of fade in out level 10 and I've left the settings as it is. There we go, you can see that, okay? So if we now view this over here, watch what's gonna happen. As we scroll, I mean, I, the reason why it's so down the page is because I want you to imagine you've got lots of other content on your page and what happens when you get to it? How quick is it? So as we scroll down, look, it is black. You can see the wording. Can you see the wording there? Maybe that wording needs to be at the top. Because as you now scroll, it's now gonna, I mean, and this is where I would say the, like, if you see that, I don't like that. So I would say, don't do that. Don't change the wording. But what, but the effect I'm getting across to you is, look, the image appears sliding out and it, and we have this color gradient appear. As we scroll back down, it goes back the other way. So if I just show you the one we had previously, I think it's better where the wording doesn't change it, because you get, you don't get this. Can you see that like little blurry effect there? That's a little bit, bleh, don't you think? So I wouldn't go for that. So I would say keep the wording the same because I think that looks better like that. And, and by the way, the reason why this one is changing is because I didn't do what I've just told you, which is when you're doing your flip box, okay, all right, over here, remember, you wanna make sure that your content for your flip box, when you go to your styling, make sure you've picked pick the bottom vertical position or the top, up to you, and then use the padding to decide where the wording is exactly, because that seems to happen even though it shouldn't do. But that is a dead, dead, dead simple way of how you get this wonderful scrolling effect with no CSS, no extra plugin, just pure creativity. Hey, I hope you like, you share, you follow, and I'll see you soon.